effects of Hurricane Ida. Well, now we are being joined by Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo as we continue with our live team coverage. He's in uh, Center City. Hey, Matt. Hey, good morning to you. Yeah, we are on Ray Street between 22nd and 23rd Street. Take a look behind me. So many of these cars are almost nearly submerged all the way past that no outlet sign. You can see that white vehicle there. It's going to be quite some time before this water recedes and uh, these car owners are able to get to their vehicles. You know, right now the water is actually continuing to push up the street very slowly. Um, and as that's happening, you know, there's more concern that uh, more cars could possibly get underwater. Um, I want to bring in uh, Council Member Helen Gim. She's been watching it all. You've been um, traveling to a few streets. What have you been seeing? Um, well, this is a historic flood. There's no question. And, you know, on days like this, we're just really grateful for the fire department that's out here right now, the water department that's helping folks. Um, and it really puts an emphasis on the importance of city workers. But we've never seen anything like this. I've lived in the neighborhood for over 25 years. Um, and it's never flooded uh, like this. Um, and I think, you know, we just have to keep our eye on everything. Make sure everybody's safe is the most important thing. And here on Ray Street, Andy, if you could turn around, there's some senior apartments in that area. Do you know if that's been flooded or how they're doing? Yeah, so we've reached out and made sure that there's support. That's why we have the fire department out here in case people need uh, emergency help. But mostly at this point, we're people have to stay put um, and there aren't a whole lot of options. Um, it's unfortunate we tried to get to as many. I was out, you know, at 6.30 in the morning trying to let my neighbors know that, you know, the things are flooding like we haven't seen before and people need to move their cars. Um, but at this point we're telling people it's a hundred year floodplain that we never thought would have to happen. We, people have to move east of 21st Street and move quickly. Um, you know, we, we've been seeing people come to this area. They're looking for their cars. They spot them. You just see the anguish in their faces, the pain, the thought that they probably lost their car. Any advice to, to people who, whose cars are almost all, totally submerged? I think if they're totally submerged, we have to wait until the flood waters recede. I think some of these cars um, that are that have the possibility of getting started and can move themselves out. Uh, we want to move them as quickly as we can. But um, the, the river has not crested. I think that's the important thing. And so people need to stay vigilant, look out for neighbors, um, especially seniors, disabled members, uh, young people. This is extremely important right now. So it's a serious situation. And it's been a 24 hour job for emergency crews for the Philadelphia Office of Emergency Management. Have you been in touch with them? And, and how many, you know, if you know how many rescues they've been doing? I, I mean, today we're really going to learn about all the life saving activity that's been going on the past, you know, 12 plus hours. Yep, right now. OEM and our fire department, our water department crews are out. Uh, nothing has been more important uh, to the city of Philadelphia than many of these city workers who've been working through pandemics and now this kind of disaster. Um, we were talking to a young woman that had to be rescued out of an elevator on Parktown Place. Um, others, you know, who, who uh, have serious flooding, um, and that's why we're grateful that people are out right now um, helping, and people should reach out. Uh, to city council offices if they need uh, additional assistance. Um, all of our offices are open, certainly mine is. Thank you for your time. I appreciate Thank it. You. And, you know, if we just take one more look, um, again, this is on Ray Street between 22nd and 23rd. Uh, so much water, all these cars almost totally submerged, and the water is actually coming towards us. It doesn't look yeah. like it's going to be receding anytime soon. We'll send it back to you in the studio. Matt Petrillo with that live interview with City Council Member Helen Gim, and you heard her say she's lived in that area for 25 years, never seen anything like this before, and there are people who are still inside of their homes. And emergency responders are urging them to stay put until uh, they can reach those people who need to be rescued. And this is in the city and outside of the city. We now have.